All right, so this is a reaction video to TJ Jackson's um, EP. It's called Damaged. Uh, the artwork is like a mosaic. Is that the right term? Um, I believe that's the right term. Uh, which is interesting because he's got his face, yeah, in the middle. But it's like in the black and white. But it's like an art type of thing. But um, like pencil art kind of. It's kind of interesting how he's got this. this like, it's, that's actually a dope artwork. Raw. And then obviously, not obvious, but then he's got like a face mask, which is a color. And yeah, that's actually dope. Hey, big up TJ Jackson and the person who never did the artwork for that. That's actually dope. Um, but anyway, there's basically five tracks on this EP. So there's Late Night, Good Time, featuring Sincerely Collins, then Senseless Drama, then there's the song No One, then there is the song Damaged. Um, so yeah, like I said, this is an EP. Um, I like how um, the second, can you call it the second generation? No, it's the first. Yeah, it's the second generation. Yeah, it is, it is. So T.O. Jackson's son released an EP. Michael Jackson's son released, no, my bad. Michael Jackson's daughter released an album. Now, I'm hoping Michael Jackson, well, let me not do that because he gave me certain information, some information that's supposed to be out there like that, isn't it? Um, but anyway, and plus, Prince said he doesn't do music. So, anyway, gave me, had to reel that back in. Um, but yeah, like, um, what can I say? Yeah, they both, Paris and, and TJ Jackson, both of them released a project this year, which I find very interesting that they did that. And they're both, and what I like is they're both different sonically, but they both sound excellent. <laughs> Do you get it? Like, go look at my review when it comes to um Paris Jackson's album, her debut album is called Wilted. Um, so yeah, like, what I like about this, this EP is it is themed. Yeah, it's themed. Yeah, and you know me in terms of context. I like something that is has some context to it. Yeah, and look, TJ Jackson's no rookie. The man's no rookie. Like he knows what he's doing. Get me? He was trained by the best. Yeah, by his dad and also his uncle and his uncles as well and his aunts. Um, you know what I mean? Like they're they they're showbiz royalty. They're entertainment royalty. Their music royalty so obviously you know naturally they're gonna only want to craft out the best like naturally right um it just so happens that this um ep i actually do like it's actually quality um so taking away that he's the nephew of the, the goat um taking away he is tito jackson's son and taking away that he was in free tea um I feel like TJ Jackson has found what works for him from a solo point of view because he has another EP, I believe, called a, What's the name of the other EP? Do you know what? Let me see if I can get it. Like, Obsession, that's it. So, and I feel like at the end of the day, when you find your lane and you find what works for you, like, you end up going on a flow and a journey that just is magical. I don't have to explain it. But as usual, you know what I'm going to do? I take one song that's in context, out of context, it is what it is. And that is senseless drama. And I'm going to use the term damage as well. All right, so, or the word damage. Um, because, you know, when it comes to dating and relationships, the only reason, yeah, why there is senseless drama is because... And you come out damaged afterwards as well, or you're damaged in the process, and then you damage the other person, and you don't even realize it, or they damage you, and you didn't even realize it years later, is or months later, whatever the case is, it's because the truth about dating and relationships is not actually taught. So, and this is one of the problems, right? When you're, because think about it, you're doing things based on the information that you have already at hand. Remember how I just mentioned about TJ Jackson being mentored and schooled by the best, yeah? So you know the great is going to, like, only greatness is going to come from him. 
Do you see what I mean? Because he comes from that school of thought. He comes from that school of people. Like he comes from that bloodline, but at the same time, he still comes from that, that mentoring. So my thing is, it's the same thing with, and that's just on a musical scale. But when it comes to dating and relationships, you need to have the right information as well when it comes to that as well. So when you have that right information, you're not going to be damaged. Do you see what I mean? You're not going to damage the other person. You know what's going to happen? You're going to have a good night. Do you understand? You're going to have a good time. Get me? Pun intended, because you've got a song called Good Time on there. But, um, yeah, so what I want to suggest to you is click the link in the description box below which says become a member of the Akibudon Trust because when you do that, you will get access to online courses such as roles and relationships and that's where you're going to learn all of that information right there and exactly how dating and relationships actually work. All right, now back to the EP. I'm going to give it a straight 10 out of 10. Um, like I said, I'm taking away that he's a Jackson. I'm just like musically, sonically, boom. Like if you like R&B, that, that soulful vibe type of R&B, yeah, then I recommend that you go listen to this. Like I highly, if you like music in general, I recommend you go listen to this. Like I, get me. But um, yeah, and it's, it's relatable because there's so many people that have gone through similar situations. So you might as well. So that's another reason I'll give it 10 out of 10. So the link to the EP is in the description box below. Go stream that, go stream that, go stream that. And I'm actually surprised that he actually released an EP this year. You know why? Because there is a thing about the Jacksons where they end up releasing something every decade. Once every decade. I don't know why they do it. No, I'm playing. Like, I'm exaggerating in it. But think about it. When was the last time Janet Jackson released the album? And I think it wasn't... Anyway, let's keep this on, on TJ Jackson. So I think now, um, now that he's got two EPs, probably another EP out the way, and then a um, uh, uh, solo debut album. That would be nice to hear. And yeah. But anyway, if you've got any questions, any suggestions, any topics you'd like me to talk about, leave that in the comment section below. Hit the subscribe button, it's a notification because you never know. The video you suggest might just be next.